Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Wee's GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the Frightliner flatbed inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require another script mod so make sure that you do download the rollback flatbed script and then now I will leave this inside my description below. Now the first thing that we must do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, go to your scripts folder, open up your scripts folder, now let's begin. Now the first thing that you gotta do is open up your flatbed extract folder which is this one over here, okay? And now open up this folder and now select all the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now next, open up your other extract folder which is the rollback flatbed and now you'll see this, okay? Now all you gotta do is go to your scripts folder then now select the flatbed folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then that's all you gotta do. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, go to your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to time 64, go to your DRC packs folder, and then now all you gotta do is go back to your extract folder, then go back, and now you'll see the flatbed 2. Drag that folder inside your DRC packs folder. Then now open up your readme add-on.txt file and now copy the slide, okay, just copy it, okay? Really simple, copy that and exit out of your text file and exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Audio V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, then go to your open IV, then now wait for a few seconds. Then go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now this process will take a few seconds. Once your application is open, select Edit Mode. Select Yes. Go to your Mods folder. Go to Update. Go to Update.RPF. Then go to Common. Go to Data. Then scroll right down to the bottom until you see DRCList.XML. Hover over the file, right click, and select edit. Scroll right down to the bottom again. Then now just select that and now paste the code inside there. Save the code and then go to edit mode. Go to GTA V, exit out of your open IV, right click, refresh your desktop. And now I will see you guys in the game. And now we are here with Franklin. So once you're in the game, okay, it all depends on what trainer you're using. I will be using Simple Trainer. So if you're going to spawn the vehicle with your Simple Trainer, simply select F3. Then now go and use your numpad and now select vehicle spawning. Then go right down to the bottom to edit vehicle menu. Then you'll see the flatbed right there. Then now select the flatbed and then there you go. Now what you can do, okay, is that the flatbed can go down and up. 
but uh, let's go and test this out to see if it works. We will need a vehicle, so I'm just going to use Minio to spawn a random vehicle. So let's go and press F8, go to vehicle options, then spawn a vehicle. I'm just going to spawn any random vehicle. There you go. Now let's just park this vehicle over here for now. And then now uh, we need to go in the truck. Now you can fit a bus on there too. I have already tried it, but it does glitch out. Now, to make the flatbed go down, press Ctrl K, you need to drive forward a bit. There you go, drive forward a bit. Just press Ctrl K, just hold on Ctrl, and now jump out. And then now you can just go and grab the car. You can use this mod for role plays or whatever. Have fun with it. And then I'll go over this green light. Then press X. And now your character will just walk towards the front. And then there you go. And now it will move by itself like that. Then now you can just jump in your truck. And wait till the vehicle is on the truck. There you go. And now press shift key. There you go. So press control, which is C T R L. Press control to go down and press shift to go up. And now as you can see, the vehicle would not move and it would not um like glitch out of your flatbed so i really do like this mod and it still works right now in 2023 and now we are back again so i hope you guys do enjoy that mod it's an awesome mod and not only that but it still works in 2023 so like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk 2077, then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. With that said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.